Hi, this is how I work m i d i f i e d t w i s t e r with Logic, and how to hook up without the use of third-party software. It has four banks selected by three buttons on both sides. A s i b e 16 i n l e t s encoder knob can be pressed, or press and turn. All customized welcome via m i d i f i e d t u t i l i t y app, and the device can be used without running the app. Bank one, for most use cases, send. Assign five cents to various type of reverbs and effects for send value and on and off. EQ frequently used. Low cut, high cut, low shelf, high shelf, mid boost and dip. Slope value, gain value, press and turn for Q value. Then pan and pan spread. Bank t o SSL vocal strip, all parameters and most toggle switches. Stay tuned for more setup guide. Three knobs at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This. You can notice that the LEDs on the twister follows the value in the logic. We set on and off, and it's follow. And there's a mouse LED as well. And same for the sense and everything. I think. Very cool thing is, it can assign secondary function of the knobs for like press or press and turn at the same time. For example, this knob, if I just turn, it is a slope value, but if I press and turn, it is Q value. I set it to Q value for press and turn. It can be set here at MIDI Fighter Utility. This knob, switch action type, shift encoder hold. So it means you push it down and turn. So it means shift. Okay, let's see. Bank two, bank two, three. If we go to bank two, it's just L vocal strip. So take this one. See. On off. If I want to want to control this, the 9000 J is, is on bank three, so press select bank three, so I can control this one. See. If I want to go back to vocal strip. Try to set a color to follow the interface here, so we can know. This orange knob for EQ, and then the greens compressor. So I set it to green. On off, attack, attack time. Ratio, press for softening. Release. Press for reset. This one threshold, but this one is press and turn for expander threshold. Same knob, turn for threshold. Press and turn for expander threshold. And the below one, make up gain and drive. So we can do gain staging. Make up gain for drive and this one for output. 
adjust the threshold, make up gain and output easily. Can do like three knobs at the same time. <laughs> For gain staging. Next one, this the ether on off and threshold. Frequency on off for listen. The processor on off for threshold and frequency listen. Yeah, super convenient. And the last knob is for input, but barely use it. For input, a input and output, I, I said press to reset. And uh, next, next one, SSL. 9000J on bank 3 If I change the value in the door by mouse, it has feedback. Yeah, so cool. If I set it, uh, maybe just randomly and change track to this one, you see? And what I love most to use with the analog compressor like a hardware emulation that we need to rise the input and lower the output by mouse. If you do it by mouse, it's so annoying. But if we have the knob, the 16 knobs like this on the table, we can do it simultaneously. We can do gain staging or gain matching easily, turning both knobs at the same time. Limit and comp, limiter and compressor, on off, so convenient, reset, this one hit to reset, hit for out, uh, reset, sorry, reset. reset, but I couldn't find a way to, to map this one, to map the ratio, but it's not a problem. When I can do do this by hand and quickly select by mouse, do this by hand, yeah, no big deal. And now we are going to set up the black box, new setup. I haven't done this before. Let's go to bank 4. So the first one is saturation. Go to logic pro, control surface, controller assignments. Yeah, command L. I normally use command L and option L. Command L. This one come up. Controller assignment. So, it's quite simple. You select this, move it a bit by mouse. Hit learn. And go to your desired knob. This one. Turn it a bit. Yep, it follow. So, learn off. Done. It still can be pressed, right? So I think I, I will use it for in out. So 
Click it in out few times. Click learn. Ah, sorry, learn and press it. Hit learn again. But you see, it has to. We have to press it down and hold it. But we, uh, we, we can turn the knob, right? Yeah, but for press function. This because we have to. In here, we have to. Press uh, this one. We have to change it to. Change the mode from scale to rotate, rotate from in and out, you see, you can turn, press for in out, so yeah, it's done, second, pen toad, click and move a bit, click learn, move the knob a bit, Click learn again. Done. Pen tool. Saturation in out. Pen tool. Quickly do try out. Output. Move the knob a bit by mouse. Click learn mode. Move the knob by hand. Click learn mode again. Done. And you can notice that the LEDs it reflect back. If I change the value by mouse in the doll. Here it follows. Yep, and for this one assign this one for press for bypass yep bypass click it real time learn mode press it quit learn mode yeah, yeah same same behavior so we have to change it here the mode from if you don't know which one to select you can click it first this one uh, this one, click it first. It will select the right one automatically and hit mode, select mode to rotate. Yep, it rotate back and forth from bypass and not bypass. Like this one, same as this one, in and out. It rotate back and forth from in and out. What should we do? for this, this tool. I think just for reset to it default position. Default position is a uh, option click. So I'll do option click and hit learn mode and press it. And hit learn mode again. Okay, now if we press, it will go back to zero. We have to change the mode to toggle, I think. Yep. Toggle. You will notice that if we use toggle for place, the LED colors is changed from the value that we adjust, you see? This LED, the main one. <laughs> so the way we get rid of this weird behavior. The one we set to toggle, move, turn the value down to it default and the feedback, select to none. So yeah, the color of the main LED will Play the same. And here for try or two, our option click to set to default and 
click learn and press it down exit learn mode check it if it's, it's work uh, if it assign here yeah. press for the press function we change to toggle toggle it, yeah see if you go back to default position and you will notice that the LED act weird again so select this function press this one right toggle I'll put this down to zero to make the LED red and the feedback none yep so now the LED is right the, the main LED stay the same red but now I think it's good idea that we modify the we change the color of the black box LED that we just assign to different color off color multiple select multiple for four change to this blue mm, it's too close to this but it's it has blue color <laughs> mm, maybe violet Send to MIDI fighter. Yeah, it means send send this data to the device. Done. Can cross this. And this violet, four violet are uh, for black box. Yeah, super convenient. Normally we we'll use we we'll push the pen tool and ah it's too loud so bring this bring this out push the triode oh it's too loud and bring bring this down it's so annoying but right now we can just boost the pen toad up and bring the output down at the same time or triode use three knobs at the same time or if, even four knobs at the same time <laughs> so convenient Okay guys, hope you enjoy and have useful information from this video. See you!